Hey guys, it's Chris. From real life sea monsters washed ashore to entire lost cities, here are 10 of the most amazing and sometimes creepy things found in the deep ocean. Number 10, Oarfish. The depths of the ocean hide many wonders. And one of the strangest and most bizarre is the oarfish. This is a very large fish that is the largest bony fish alive. In fact, the largest one found was 36 feet long. Yet when it was found on the beach, many people thought it was fake because it was so big and so weird. It was just too big or too monstrous to be real. Then when it was proven real, it suddenly made sense why people believed in legends of sea serpents and sea dragons, which is possible because they can be found in many places, but are more commonly seen out in the ocean. It's possible they're in other areas, but since the oarfish prefers to live at massive depths, they're not seen too often on the surface, so it's hard to really track them down. We honestly don't know what they do all day. In fact, some scientists believe that they live at nearly 3,000 feet below sea level. The few times we do see them is when they wash up dead on shore after dying like many other sea creatures in the past. This is due in part to their muscle structure. They're used to the stiller waters at deeper depths, not the currents and tides near the surface. So if it reaches the surface, it's often dead or on the brink of death because its body is being battered by the waters. Adding to their mystery, they're rarely, if ever, caught on video. Number 9. Whole Cities Throughout history, humanity has built all sorts of cities in many places. However, nature has had a hand in determining whether they survived or not, including quite literally sinking them into the oceans or seas that they've bordered. If you were to dive into certain places around the world, you would find whole cities, complete with buildings and other amenities, fully engulfed by water. Such places you can find include the ancient city of Heliki, the former Roman city of Neapolis, the Indian city of Dwarka, and the real-life Port Royal and more. What makes these finds terrifying is the simple fact that these cities were sunk or swept away without much effort at all by nature. Tsunamis have been dubbed the culprits for some of these cities, while others were due to erosion or mysterious means. Just as curious, there have been certain underwater cities and monuments that resemble cities that no one has definitive answers to how they got there such as the underwater city that is off the coast of Cuba, or the Yanaguni Monument off the coast of Japan. These cities were lost at one point in time and not recorded. That could mean that other cities are beneath the waves and we just have yet to find them. And now for number 8. But first, be sure to subscribe to World List and give this video a nice thumbs up if you want to learn more about sea creatures. Number 8. The Real Kraken One of the most popular legends of the ocean is that of the Kraken a deep sea creature that would rise up to swallow ships whole and take sailors to a watery grave. Numerous reports claim that this creature was real, and because we couldn't go into the depths of the ocean, many believed it to be a real thing. But the real culprits for what the Kraken is and isn't is the colossal and giant squids. These amazing but also somewhat terrifying creatures live in various parts of the ocean, including near Antarctica, and in the major oceans where sailors are known to have passed through. They even live in the depths of the Mariana Trench, showing their survivability in nearly all waters. The reason we believe that these two species are the legendary kraken is because of their long tentacles and massive size. The largest known colossal squid to have been studied was only 15 feet long, but that's because they're rarely seen on the surface and thus we can't get a true measure on them. For the giant squid, it's kind of a similar case, but they're estimated to be about 43 feet in length at max. As of now, squids as a whole are more well known, but they're still terrifying given their size and the ability to ensnare prey with their massive tentacles. While rare, there have been attacks on humans by squids, which makes diving into the waters of the ocean to go and research them rather difficult and dangerous. This usually leads to the use of underwater drones to try and get them on camera, which has only been done a few times. Number 7. Sarcastic Fringe Head One of the many evolutions that certain fish and other creatures have is the ability to seem harmless from afar, but then, when a predator nears, they flare up their body in some way and become very aggressive. 
which in the waters of the world speaks to the nature of the sarcastic fringe head. Not sure why they're considered sarcastic? This is a saltwater fish and it may not seem like much at first. And when coiled up, it resembles a regular fish, sometimes even being brightly colored. But when threatened, it opens up its massive, distended mouth and becomes something out of a horror film. What's more, the sarcastic fringe head is a very territorial creature, and it's been known to wrestle with its own kind in order to ensure that its home isn't invaded. They actually battle with their mouths to try and overpower one another, as well as literally sizing one another up, because the bigger of the two in terms of their distended mouths will be able to assert dominance over the other. Just as odd as their mouths are their swimming motions. While most fish do things like a constant swimming motion via flippers or fins, the sarcastic fringe head doesn't do that at all. Rather, they do short bursts of movements, not like a dart being thrown at a board. This confuses scientists greatly. However, unlike many predators of the deep, the sarcastic fringe head isn't one that humans should worry about per se, as they're only about a foot long. Number 6. A Mystery Eye Imagine this, you're going along a beach and you see something bobbing up and down in the water near you. You go and retrieve whatever it is, only to find yourself looking at a giant detached eyeball. Well, what do you do? In regards to one person in Pompano, Florida, well, they decided to pick up the massive eyeball and take it to the nearby Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and get it examined to find out exactly what the eyeball was. Because not only was it huge, it wasn't shaped like most eyeballs of fish and other creatures in the water. Upon study, it was believed by marine biologist Robert Pittman to be a squid eyeball, based not just on the size, but also the fact that there was no hard tissue around the object in question. Others claimed that it was likely from a swordfish. However, due to this, the eye itself was never fully identified because a DNA test was ruled out due to bones being found around the eye's tissues. So what this belonged to is a mystery still. Many speculate that it came from a deep sea creature of some sort, but if it was from the deep sea, how did it wind up on a beach in Florida? Number 5. Anglerfish When it comes to the Mariana Trench, despite its mystery and wonder, there are a few species that we know about. This creature is a hunter and killer like few others and it tricks its opponents to come to it. Weirdly enough, the anglerfish is actually called the sea devil by some, which is kind of appropriate because its face and body definitely remind you of a demon. Its teeth are huge and sharp, and the eyes alone are enough to scare any who see it. It has a very particular lure on its head. This unique evolution is actually a protrusion that comes out of its body. If you're curious, yes, it does glow making it one of the few sources of light down in the Mariana Trench, as it's 36,000 feet below sea level, and thus light just can't reach it. It'll turn the light on just enough to illuminate the area without revealing itself, and it's got a few inches to do so, thanks to the length of the protrusion. As the light shines, fish will slowly approach, curious about the light and its source. And while they're distracted by it, the angler fish will get closer and closer with its mouth, and then eat the fish while they're looking at the lure. A very interesting thing to know about this creature is that 90% of the time, the anglerfish you see are females, as they can grow to be 8 inches long. In contrast, the males are only about an inch. In order to breed, the male will fuse itself onto the body of the female like a parasite and actually start to decompose. Number 4. Frilled Shark Known as the living fossil, the frilled shark is a special kind of shark that doesn't resemble many of the species of shark that live in the oceans today. Or more accurately, it doesn't have many of the standard features a shark is known for. It doesn't have a large dorsal fin. Instead, it has numerous fins on the side and bottom of its body. Its skin also looks very rugged and worn which many have likened to certain types of eels. In fact, the frilled shark has been compared to an eel a lot because of its length and movement capabilities, which is appropriate given it's only about six and a half feet long at max. Given its features, many have labeled the frilled shark as not just a living fossil, but as a primitive being, given that it doesn't have certain things that modern sharks or even eels have to survive in these waters. 
To that extent, many wonder how exactly the frilled shark hunts for prey. The belief is that it curls its body and then lunges out. But due to it being rarely seen, that can't be confirmed. If you're hoping to try and see one of these sharks yourselves, you're going to need to be in the right place at the right time. You'll need to go to 5,000 feet below sea level in certain parts of the ocean, though some reports have it close to the surface in other areas, such as Shiruga Bay in Japan, where it's said to be only 660 feet below sea level at max. Despite this, the frilled shark is very rarely observed in the world, so there's still very much about the creature that's unknown. The shark also raises questions about what other living fossils are currently out in the oceans that haven't been found yet. Number 3. Stargazers There are many fish in the sea who use a variety of tactics to get their food, and the family known as the stargazers are no exception. Their body is literally built for ambushing unsuspecting prey. For example, their eyes are on the top of their heads, instead of on the sides like most fish. Their bodies are relatively flat, and their mouths are actually upward facing. What they like to do is go into a reef and bury themselves in the sand. Then they'll just wait for some small fish to come by unsuspectingly, and then they'll strike. Not weird enough for you? Well, there are 51 species of stargazer in the world, and some of them actually have a lure within their mouths that look kind of like a worm. So they'll use it to attract prey and bring them closer, thus allowing them an even easier meal. As if that all wasn't enough, the stargazers are actually both venomous and electricity-infused at times. They can both poison you and give you an electric shock depending on the type of one you're looking at. Yet what might be the oddest of all? Well, despite all of these odd and dangerous features, people love to eat them in certain countries. Number 2. Goblin Shark The goblin shark, also known as the vampire shark, is one of the most interesting things you will find in places like the Mariana Trench. Why? Well, because of its age. Its species is said to have lived for millions of years. They're believed to be so very old that some scientists refer to them as living fossils. While most sharks are considered to be scary in one form or another, most agree that the goblin shark is terrifying. What's more, its scary reputation is earned because of a unique feature on it. That's because the elongated nose of the goblin shark is full of electromagnetic sensors. It can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. Yet that's not what makes them terrifying. When it does find food, it'll not only lock onto it, it'll extend its mouth from its body and chomp down on the foe. And this is a feature that's not common with sharks or various other species on Earth. On average, the goblin or vampire shark is said to be around 10 feet long. But because of their rarity, and the fact that adults tend to live in deeper waters that humanity can't reach easily, it is possible that the goblin sharks are much bigger than we realize. Number 1. Barrel Eye Fish To live in the depths of the ocean, you need to have the literal ability to withstand just about everything the environment can throw at you. And the barrel eye fish did just that, evolving to be what it needed to be, mainly a fish that can see everything because its head is not fully there. This is a fish with a literal transparent head. So why is that? Well, it's speculated that it allows the fish to catch light. So if you're wondering why this is so important, well, you need to remember that at about 3,280 feet, the natural reach of the sun's rays peter out. So anything below that point in the ocean is pure and absolute dark. So the ability to capture light in any form could be a godsend down there. Now though, let's take note of its literal barrel-shaped eyes. You'll be interested to know that the eyes are often pointed upwards. Why? Well, it wants to be able to see predators that might be lurking above it. Here's another thing you need to know about the Mariana Trench. Because it's so deep in the ocean, the pressure is enormous, and the fish in the ocean are used to that pressure. One time, a scientist tried to take a barrel-eyed fish to the surface. The fish did not survive, as the lesser pressure of the water actually killed it. This is a reason why many species in the Mariana Trench aren't studied that much. They just don't get the opportunities to more often than not. Aside from its slightly terrifying appearance, the barrel eye fish is a creature that is known to swallow prey whole when it feeds on them. Well, thanks for watching. What do you think of these terrifying things that have been found in the deep seas and oceans of the world? 
Are you surprised by the animals that live in these waters? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.